Hey guys, so I want to visit Jacksepticeye's channel like I always do. Uh, I love Jacksepticeye, you know, he was a big part of my childhood. Um, and I, I saw this new video, you know, I saw that he hadn't posted in a while, posted in a while. Uh, not two days, I mean like before this, so like a month ago, right? June 15th. And uh, he's, I, I haven't seen him in a while to be quite frank. Like the last like version I've seen of him was the bow, like the... This, yeah, like this guy, like with the, you know, thing, microphone there. I This is a new look for me. I, I don't think I've ever seen Jack like this. I think he did take a long break before that, though, right? He watched Naruto, which is kind of surprising. I think he watched it at the same time as me as well. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Like, he, he looks a lot different than before. He got a new haircut. Anyways. So, I, was, I went to his channel, and then I saw this called 15 Months, and, you know, I instantly knew that it was something like cinematic when I heard the breathing and like clothes and like hearing this short film, right? And and I have like just watching this like it's very good, you know, cinematography. It's good at you know, I definitely think it's awesome at capturing the idea. My only issue is I don't know what that idea is, like at all. I don't know what this is trying to convey. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's burnout of like content creation. But I know for a fact there's a lot deeper meaning to that. Because, um, I mean, I've seen this. The last shot hit the heart of this. Give me creepy vibes of, like, from podcasters. Because I kind of relate with the guy. You know, I like his microphone microphone reviews. And he said, do you even exist if the camera's not on? And, okay, so maybe it's about the fact that he doesn't feel like if the cameras aren't on, then, like, his life doesn't matter. What he does doesn't matter. And like he doesn't, oh, he he has no time to feel alone with himself or something. Like he's doing the same thing every day. Um, just from that scene alone. So I definitely know for a fact it's conveying something like greatly. But I think you can only really relate to this in full if you're another content creator as successful or about as successful as Jacksepticeye. Like if you're a YouTuber with at least some million subscribers, I know Podcastage doesn't, but like. Any success on YouTube, I think you can relate to this very well. Only issue is, I don't have any success on YouTube, so I can't really relate to this guy at all. Um, I definitely know for a fact, I don't know, it's kind of weird, because I know for a fact that it definitely looks like it means a lot. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but like, you kind of get that feeling that you understand it. It's like, But it's a feeling, you don't actually understand it, but it's just that feeling that... Okay, like, I know that other people that are watching this could definitely understand it more than me, but I understand that it's a great, like, conveying story. Like, I know that it's good, and, like, I know that people can relate to it very well, and it conveys this idea very well. And, like I said, I don't know the idea, so I can't really tell what it's about. I can give, like, a almost definitive answer to it, but I can't, like, give a for sure... This is what it's about, and I can relate to it. But, like, I can tell it's very good. I don't know how else to explain it. It's very weird. I highly suggest you go watch the video. I'll leave a link in the description, actually, for you guys to go check this out. It's a very great film. It is, it's very good. I like the music. You know, I like the, the cinematography. Everything about it's great. Go watch it, and, you know, try to comment down below what do you think it means to you.